We promised this report to you yesterday, and we know you've been waiting for this. The India-China disengagement, what is happening on the border? The first news flash came yesterday. That's when the Chinese military released a statement. They announced the disengagement. There was no official word from India, only vaguely worded source-based comments. So we decided to wait for the Indian Defence Minister to brief the parliament. He did that today. And now we have the first pictures of this disengagement. Senior commanders from both sides have met. The PLA, the People's Liberation Army of China, has moved back some tanks. Indian troops are moving back too. Here's a video released by the Indian side. The tanks have started to move. The movement of soldiers is next, we are told. What does this really mean? Are the Chinese troops leaving the border area? Is the nine-month-long standoff now over? The short answer is no. This can be called the first phase of disengagement. It's a good start, but it's just the start. A lot more needs to be done. For now, the disengagement process seems limited to the area of Pangong So or the Pangong Lake. This area resembles the palm of your hand. Indian and Chinese troops will disengage from the north and south banks here. This is what they call the fingers area. Now let's look at how this appears on the map. China has its troops on the north bank here. They will move back behind the border on finger eight. India says that this border is, in the, is the line of actual control or the LAC. Chinese soldiers will move behind it. Indian soldiers will move back too. They'll now be stationed at the Dhansing Thapa post. This is India's permanent base near Finger 3. So Indian and Chinese troops are moving back to their traditional bases. Now both sides will take similar action in the south bank of the Pangong Lake too. But we don't know the details yet about the disengagement there. In the Fingers area, the land between Finger 3 and Finger 8 will become a no patrolling zone. And this is a temporary measure until both sides can reach an agreement on how to restore patrolling. In both North and South, the border construction carried out after April 2020 will be dismantled. This is how the disengagement is shaping up. It's happening, as we said, after nine rounds of talks. The Pangong Lake is a sensitive area. The standoff began here last year. When Indian and Chinese troops clashed, and this lake is significant for another reason. In August last year, Indian soldiers captured strategic heights in the South Bank. After this, India also repositioned its troops in the North. They stationed themselves on these heights. And from here, they could monitor Chinese movements. This was a vantage point. Will India leave these strategic heights too? Is this going to be a part of the disengagement? We don't know that yet. What we do know is that a part of the border dispute seems to have been resolved. What about the rest? India's Defence Minister Rajnath Singh told the parliament today that some outstanding issues still remain. The Pangong Lake was just one of the multiple friction areas. Chinese troops attempted an intrusion in some other areas too, like the Gogra post in the Hot Springs area. They are close to each other. Reports say the build-up continues here. Third friction point is the Galwan Valley, the site where the Chinese troops attacked Indian soldiers. 20 Indian soldiers were killed in action in the Galwan Valley. We'll talk about that in just a bit. There's an update on Galwan too. The fourth friction point in the meantime is the Depsang Plains. This is close to the Dalat Bay Goldie base. It's an Indian military base. So the friction points remain. What about Galwan? The de-escalation has caught the attention of the world, including Russia, and the Russian news agency TASS carried out an update. This is about the casualties that China has been hiding from the world. According to the Russian agency, 45 Chinese servicemen have died in the border clashes with India. They published this report yesterday. It was filed from Beijing. As usual, China has said nothing about these numbers. Weon is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.